Welcome to you. Hey. Ba 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 ba. It's me, your friend, your car, your guy, your boy, Mo. And today, well, it's Monday, so. It's a little DLC. I need to finish your base game. I guess I buy DLC before I finish base games. So I keep doing that. Anyway. You know the vibes. You know the wave. It is. It is, it is, it is, it is. What is it? It is, it is, it is, it is, it is, The Outer Worlds. I don't know why I'm doing so long on this intro. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Spacer's Choice. What are the chances? Of all the times and places we could have been born. Yeah. We're here. No, man, I'm still that thinking. She's always cranky. Can't believe we made it to this town after fighting all those monsters. If Velma's capable of running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own cathanoid. Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. Nope, you have not. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. Sweet cheeks, okay. Quite the bedside manner, lady. Well, it's so rare I get the pleasure of new company. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Oh, I mean, I should pick up some cathanoid. And what a helpful young man you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Whiskey helps, too. Please leave medical advice to the professionals. <laughs> now, dearie, who's this pickup for? I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stella Bay residents. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? Isn't it just? I'd make an exception for you if I could, my little cherub. Is there anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? Don't blame me if I puke on your shoes. Orange, you a saucy thing. Yes, I am a saucy thing. I may not be a fresh young thing anymore. Ooh. With age comes so. experience, dearie. Oh, uh, why don't you show me a thing or two? Much as I'd love to. My rheumatism is especially fierce at the moment, and I'm all out of my medicine. But I'd hate to send you away empty-handed. You were here for caffeinoid, weren't you? Who's it for? Oh, her. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. If so, I would love to know where some light supplies. Some light supplies don't come cheap. Okay. I'd hope not. Fleecing's the mark of a real professional. Believe me, there's nothing I'd love better than to help you, but there's not much I can do. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. Oh, you are an old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face, face for the customers. 
and to keep oh, the extra trip to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. Okay. Forgetful fellow, eh? Careless experimentation with medicinal substances does take its toll. Okay, see, eventually. see, see, we're getting some progress. But until then, it's lots of fun. Episodic pharmacological delirium is no laughing matter, young lady. <sighs> In the town graveyard, I'm afraid. Poor okay. man was always searching for the flower of enlightenment. On the way, he tried some... Rather this. daring substitute <laughs> combinations. Bada bada bee. Bada bada bee. Gotta go to Greece. Got bee. Bada bada bee. Bada bada bee. Bada bada bee. Bada bada bee. Do be careful. I'd hate for anything to happen to you, dearie. I don't know why people always must be me when I'm not playing that game. Nah, oh, now I gotta message this guy. I guess I'll figure it out. Chin up, dearie. If Velma's capable of running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own caffeinoid. Don't be so hard on her. With Brax missing, she's working doubles and needs a little edge. Very well, dearie. But you stop by any time you like. Hmm? Thanks, I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Hello again, dearie. What can I get you? She works over at the fishery next door. Oh, wait. Gotta set myself on do not disturb. Quite the hard worker, but she's got a bit of a temper. Uh huh. A temper? Why, just the other day, I heard her shouting from here. I can't imagine what set her off. Oh, but here I go again, running my mouth when it's none of my business. Was there something else you needed? The caffeine. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Such a pity, isn't it? But I suppose it's an important reminder that one can have too much of a good thing. Even cost tolerine. Oh my god. Why does it keep suggesting I come talk to her? Hello again, dearie. What can I get you? Alright. Uh no 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 oh that's such a waste that's such a waste i'm trying to like remember how to option though search dr williams body dr williams charge of cells bay So I need to find homie's body at the graveyard. Sir, please, I need your Okay, what's oh, up? Thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile <laughs> okay, creature. Okay, where's your little boy at? Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. It's more dissolving than melting. That is not helpful. Calm down, take Don't a breath. Don't tell me to calm down. I promised my boy I'd protect him for always. For How always. How can I keep him safe if he's run away? He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs, and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools, and poisonous plants, but he didn't listen. Please, won't you go and find my boy?
He's been pining for an adventure. Says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls. Okay, I'll, I'll go save you so how dangerous later. it is out there. I warned him. A raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know one's ripped his arm off and is gnawing on it his sweet little fingers. He should have listened to his mama. I promised I'd keep him safe here with me. Go over here, again. Listening to those awful broadcasts that the iconoclasts put out. I begged Sanjar to put a stop to them. But did he? No. And now I just know my boys run off to Amber Heights. That is, if a Manta Queen hasn't spooled out and eaten his entrails for breakfast already. Where is Amber Heights? That old settlement, southwest of Stellar Bay. Give me some answers. I don't know which is worse. The thought of my son shacking up with the nutty iconoclasts. Or that he never made it. Sprats could be nesting in his rotting body alongside the road as we speak. Or, or maybe Marauders all right, all right, all right. pulled all his teeth out, crushed him into their drugs, and made him snort them. Oh, the things that could happen to my Jesus, baby. lady. I hope you find your Thank son. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. Fresh blood at last. Stellar Bay could use them. You don't look like sublife. Must be freelance. Ba ba be ba ba da boop. I don't know why this lady you kids wouldn't just stay home. Why didn't this kid stay home? I don't know why he wouldn't stay home. Yeah, he needs to stay home. The word cheese it, so we're gonna be difficult to open. Hold on to your hat. Children, this ride is about to get ugly. I mean, you don't have to get ugly. We could play it smart. Like what I'm trying to do. Take your best shot, asshole. It's like Max, what are you doing? Okay? I wonder what secrets these ruins contain. We won't get any money from this. Man, come on, stop dying, man. That, that she and Dr. Williams walk her keys to Michael's supply room. You found the key card in Dr. Williams' body.
We already got the key, so let's get a save going. Alright guys, please don't get in any fights. Incoming. What the fuck? Max is always down. I don't really know which one would be better for me. Max, I need you to like, you know, do less dying. So we're still outside and we're gonna avoid that. Like this game 
isn't bad. I just feel like uh, I just feel like I got on this type of game like way too late in my life. I don't know if I per se want to engage another set of marauders right now. Max still don't know know how he doesn't look like he know how to live his life safely. So going around is a more tactical choice. Well, it looks like we might not have a choice. Now I feel bad because we're about to go rob this old lady real quick. Philosophy seeks to destroy their way of life. Okay. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. Okay. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know? Of course. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, Gash blasted. blasted. That's cool. Why are they iconoclasts? Well, we're the only free people in Halcyon. The only free no people. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Okay. Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. Okay. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your key. Oh, sure. Graham's our founder. He taught us how to cut our own path in the wilderness. And I guess some folk have started following Zora's orders. Okay. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. examples. We all ought to be more like them. Okay. Tell me about Graham. Why, he's our founder. This Graham lady is philosophism. sipping all the Kool-Aid. I got see that. Truth. Now I'm we glad go. you're asking, by the way. I hope you'll consider staying. She, well... She's been with us since the beginning. I think she was our sawbones back then, but now she's more like our commander. She goes and finds people in the wilderness and gets them to come here. And she keeps us from being chewed on and whatnot. She's liable to take your head off if you screw up, but then she'll sew it back on for you. That's rude. Where can I find them? Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Okay. Thor is sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. Okay. Oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I wish I had a pamphlet to give you. It's all in there. I wasn't around back then, but they say a lot of the old MSI corporate folks died here. He calls it a spiritual metaphor, something about rising from the ashes. Okay. The new boy! Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Damn philosophists. All I'm saying is it ain't worth it. It's gonna taste like sulfur all the same. Yeah, uh -huh. Looks like I'm not the only new face around okay. here. Okay. What do I call you, stranger? What do I call you, stranger? Your mama's in, boy. It's Captain Bonaparte. Stranger suits me just fine. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? No. 
but from the yoke of corporate tyranny. It's what all us iconoclasts strive for, with Graham at the helm. Okay. We want unfettered freedom, not the lies that MSI tries to sell in Stellar Bay. True escape from all rules and constraints. You want to know more? Listen to Graham's broadcasts. He's been talking up a storm, working to elevate the minds of all the corporate drones in this colony. Others are going to corporate drones. See, that's what the corpse want you to think. <laughs> if you think the rules are needed, they can force any and all they want down your throat. And you'll, you'll just, just swallow. swallow it. Okay. You need to talk to Graham. He'll help you find the truth amongst the lies that are living in your brain. Okay. I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades. No matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? Had hoped she'd accept my decision. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. <laughs> my entire life, she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'll, You'll fall in a sulfur pool. Yeah. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Okay. Stars, I don't know. My mama's a stubborn woman. She won't quit until I'm dead. You know... That might just work. You go back and tell her you found my body beside the road, all mangled and tore up. If she believes me dead, she won't look for me no more. You want to fake your own death to avoid your mom? I know it sounds extreme, but I can't go back. I just can't. This is the only way I can think of to be free. I hate to think of her grieving, but it'll be good for her to move on. In the long run, you know? No, you're terrible. Oh, right. Uh, I guess you could take my daddy's ring. I've worn it ever since he died. Mama would recognize it right away. You take this back to Stellar Bay. Tell my mama I died and you found that on my body. I know it'll be hard on her, but it's the only way. This was terrible.
Okay, so this is a bunch of rioters up here and stuff. I feel like I'm gonna need to talk to the Iconoclast at some point about uh, joining their ranks because they seem to be the people in town with the fights. But I need to find the Alita. Two runners and five gun hands. Oh my god. A total failure then. So much for the real the Hell only knows where the Van Oys are. He never showed. I'm sure they're Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. What? I'm sorry. Long day. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, no, I'm not. Have one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. <laughs> no. Ah, yes. The first step to accepting <laughs> philosophism is to open your heart to its wisdom. I've found the written word to be quite effective. <laughs> okay, in this guy's a clown. But alas, the eternal truth hasn't been generous with the paper and ink. Now. Why have you come? A great many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. A printing press on Monarch? Oh, yes. Many facilities lie abandoned. I'm about to just hack to, like, what is surprise will be useful? Be operational again with a little elbow grease and luck. Will you aid us in our car? Sure. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? He's dead. You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Wait, where is Huxley? It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. One of our sympathizers. A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly, though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes. Not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Greetings, friend. All right. Why have you come? Bruh, I said never mind. Night. Nice day, huh? The monarch getting wet.
Hey. Zora, I actually want to talk to you because uh, you, your man's nuts. Your man is nuts. Why won't he buy supplies? Like, this is going to sound crazy, but it's like, family need to be buying some supplies. Zero, I'm waiting for you to go to the triage so we can talk. And I need to buy myself an entire Rizzo plant after all this. Sorry about earlier. Graham and I. Don't know <laughs> yeah, it. he's kind of weird. Besides, we just got our asses kicked in the ruins. Not a great time to yammer on about his printing press. Hey, you got some decency in you. Careful. That's rare around these parts. And folks are liable to try and take advantage of it. Yeah, like you guys. Yeah, name's Zora. I've been patching up the Iconoclast since day one. Whenever Graham's lack of foresight gets someone hurt, I get them back on their feet. If you I can. can. After meeting that guy, I'm amazed anyone around here still has four functioning limbs. Don't get me wrong. He's got an uncanny ability to harden folks' spirits. And we need that around here. <laughs> Do ya? I was a long time ago, over in Cascadia. Rizzo was trying to sweeten up animal parts, and often that meant a lab coat got bit. Now I'm whatever I need to be to keep these folks from bleeding out. When he's being an idiot, sure. A Manta Queen showed up out of nowhere, and I guess the gunfire attracted Raptodons. It was, it was a, a damn, damn bloodbath. Blood Listen, unless this is urgent, I need to oversee the wounded. Talking to me is always urgent. You want to do us a favor or two? Go talk to Bronson. He's always looking to pass his work off on someone else. For now, I gotta get to the wounded. Welcome to the Amber Heights. <laughs> We got weed. That's a lot of smoke. <laughs> Option get high capacity couch foods or extra supplies from Caroline Graham wants to check some. Man, extra food and supplies. Like, that's wild. Ah, crazy town. Never change. <laughs> Oh, it's a Cleo better than a nurse. Yeah, man. I don't think so. Alright, we're gonna go get in a, like another shootout. We're gonna turn a mission and then uh that'll be that for this particular episode. Got some good harder practice. Yeah. Okay, so that's kinda far. Let me see if a uh, family matters closer. That's even farther. Okay. I can take a hint. Here we go. Nice hit. I'm going. The strong survive and the weak perish. Not 
Come on, guys. I lied. How do I heal a jacked up leg? Something on your mind? I fought those Zeus who get in there just to find out we can't actually get in there. Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? Right. Carlotta. Yeah, she's inside. We got first rights, though. As Soon as we fix that generator, she's ours. You'd have to ask the boss. I just know she wants Carlotta voided. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why is that now? All right, you gonna saw it off already? We're fixing a leak. Right, Carl. About as long. There, Mister. <laughs> nice. Not that good. Who are you 
anyway. Thanks for clearing out those goons. Please don't kill me next. Bram ordered rollers and wetsits, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. <laughs> It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure. But I respect the iconoclast for doing it. Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I just murder Sublight. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. Get all these bits of my stuff. I just picked up all these people. I can't believe that lady made it seem like we were gonna kill her. I was like, why would we do that? I'm a lot of things, but I'm not a dirty murderer. Anybody I've killed deserves to die. Now, I'm not saying I am judge, jury, and executioner. What I am saying is that dude had no intentions of letting us get to her, and he intended on killing her. So it was either us or him. But I wasn't bribing him. 
because I already got a lot of other people I'm supposed to be paying money to to get things done for the main plot. While I'm out here doing subplot stuff. So, you know, that's ridiculous. However, I'll smoke them. I'll smoke them, 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 i will no one saw me trip over that, right? Not until you mentioned it, Chief. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't they just abandon the orders, orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in the sulfur sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important. Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. Mm-hmm. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? She's not coming. That That's is a... most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanja, our old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? Yeah, he just, just declared, declared war. war. I, we, will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. Yes? A subtle lesson here, a word about the eternal there. In small ways, I hope to bend the public's mind towards seeing the truth. The corporations have been shackling workers' souls for centuries. Workers are glorified slaves to their companies, to their society, to their own minds. Oh, you need society. Free will has all but vanished. I believe that by freeing oneself from the corporate structure, indeed from the very rules of man, one can find their own truth. Their own truth? There is only one truth. Free will is nothing but an illusion that drives man to struggle against his preordained path. The cosmos will someday come to understand itself. We can only assist with our own truth-seeking and hope that by our myriad tiny contributions, we can help usher that day forth. Our very resourceful sublight friends have already agreed to help. For their standard fee, of course. They'll replace periodicals around the colony with our subtly edited versions. The board's workers will learn of our truth without even realizing it. Right. Certainly. The print... Oh, no. Graham. You didn't. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Van Noys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. The written word can be quite effective, but losing your flock seems counterproductive. I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have I don't know if even these men, I don't know them. Recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit Yeah, them. you're a... You can... Yes! You're damn right he could have, <laughs> but he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just 
If, if the vampires are still alive, get them out. Get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. I'll do everything I can. All right, guys. That's gonna be it for now. It's been me, your friend, your pal, your boy, your guy, Mo. I can't figure out how the hell to get out this bloody damn building. But until next time, friends, peace.